happiest moment was when I found out I got an unconditional offer to university. <laughs> sorry, sorry, sorry. Be serious! <laughs> I found out my um, results for A level because um, <clears throat> I was proud of what I got an A star and the first I thought was a crack on the screen I didn't actually think I could do that and um, yeah but I think cause that, that day like um, the Royal Grey like just had like family around and went out with my friends in the in the night and um, yeah probably say that day the day I met my best friend here Amy. <laughs> So I met her here in Ashburn and then we were apparently in the same course which I obviously didn't know at the time. So when we started talking, we got to know each other and then gradually we became friends and then all of a sudden we found ourselves being best friends and that was really the best thing that happened to me. Today I did my bungee job because I always said I'd do it for my 18th birthday and so when I went for holiday I did it for Malaysia. I mean good question. i say the happiest day of my life would be when I got my A-level results because I was expecting to do really badly and I did a lot better than expected and it was like a shock because I'm like used to getting bad grades and I suppose it was the first time I've ever done like well in something like academically so like that kind of process was really like a shock and it was like a really pleasant shock I suppose I'm used to like the awful shocks going like do 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 so like getting a good grades was just like I mean like I know it's quite like superficial and like it seems a bit redundant but like and they don't mean anything in the long term scale of things but getting good grades at that moment in my life was really like a pleasant feeling. The day I saw snow in UK because I was just going to born and raised in Dubai which is a very sunny area and then uh, UK showed me what's to really snow and I saw it the first time when my brother was born. Um, because um, I have one sister which is two years younger than me and we just were really happy to see like a boy and so for us it was just like ah, see like that little like cute thing um, it, was, it was so special well the happiest day for me was i think definitely my 16th birthday party because i wasn't really in the mood for like a big night out with fam I mean, family or friends so i just wanted like a subtle quiet time because i was dealing with a lot of stress with school gcses and things like that but my mom threw a very big surprise party for me and literally everything was very personalised, it was themed with so sweet system and the biggest highlight was that she even called in friends from out of town just to like lift my spirits up because she knew I was going through a lot. Okay, so the happiest day of my life so far as much as this out has been this year's results day because last year last year was like good, but like this year I'd had like a whole year by myself, so I was like Okay, let's make sure it's been worth it and then it actually was worth it and I got into uni so that you can also be more sad. I would travel in Asia for a month and I was away from my girlfriend and then it was November, it was uh, Guy Fawkes night and she took me to Battersea Park to see the fireworks and we ate churros in the park and watched the fireworks and it was like... Um, in the afternoon with the sunshine, with coffee and cake and my dogs I mean I have lots of happy days and just sometimes it happens that I walk down the street and like oh wow I'm so happy everything's so um, nice. I've been traveling with my friends around the UK and we went to Bath. Uh, it was a museum of fashion and in the museum they had like really nice dresses from I don't know like 18th 19th century I mean the copies the copies of them and you could try them and also they had really nice hats and I, I'm in love with those and I tried it and I was so happy, I was like a princess and I was like dancing, like I, I just... Um, thinking about it now, oh this is a tough one. Um, oh yeah, when, <laughs> <laughs> uh, maybe when I threw a barbecue. Do you remember that, Corvia? Yeah, it was a great time. It was a great time, see? <laughs> oh my gosh. Back to you. <laughs> It's when my sister got born and she was really ugly so I was I was quite happy that all my life I could be the prettiest of the two no, I'm joking and I love my sister The happiest day of my life was the day when I was born <laughs> Those were the days So I, I, I'm happy that I had that day in my life <laughs> The most important day I Probably the day I got my A-level results and found out that I got into uni it was the start of a really exciting new chapter. All my friends did really well as well, so it was a lovely celebration for the entire day.
I think the happiest day of my life has to be when I went to the factory for the first time outside. Nah, I'm just joking. But like probably when I went park life last year because I've never been to like festivals on and it was a bit like a new thing and all the famous artists and everyone just came and it's like I had a very good time. It was a new thing for me obviously. Um the day I went skinny dipping and it was always kind of like dark and there was like an actual happy. Um my happiest day of my life was when I found out that I got into University of Manchester. When I was interning last year with my friends in Berlin, we went clubbing and like stayed up all night and then we were like back on the tube at 6 a.m. in the morning. It was just like so happy and like drunk and like with friends. Um, the happiest day of my life so far probably my sister's 21st. Um, and I have my dog and I have my family and my family from Ireland and then all my friends. And it was just a really good time. No one was stressed. Everyone was, <laughs> everyone was happy, it was having a good time, um, alcohol was involved, and lots of food, and just went on to like really early in the morning. It was only a month away from my boyfriend, and that was the first time when we got like separated location-wise, and when I came back to the UK, and when I kissed him. Oh, <laughs> so, that's so cute! <laughs> I don't know. I guess like I, mean, I guess when I met this one, yeah. Probably the Champions League final in 2012 because I'm a big football fan, and that was the year that Chelsea finally won it. The happiest day of my life was when um, my older sister she told me she was pregnant with her first child. Um, it was really surprising because she wasn't um, able to well, she wasn't able to have children. So the the fact that she got pregnant and it was going to be a girl and everything was all right made me really happy. On my 19th birthday I woke up really early um, in the dark and walked up a cliff the sunrise yeah. in Greece. <laughs> Probably when I came here and made British friends my happiest day of my life. Mm. Oh, so, sweet. so the happiest day of my life so far would be last year Christmas because all of my family came together that's from all different backgrounds and all different countries. We spent three days so one was with my nan at mine and at my other nan's and I got to see all my family, all my little cousins, older cousins and uncles and aunties. I don't exactly have a happiest day. I think I have a lot of happy moments but happiest, I can't, it's a happy, happiest day. My birth, I mean, I was crying obviously, but like, I guess I was happy. <laughs> my 18th birthday, I went to some Dream Girls, and I was a really big Amber Riley fan, like, loved her growing up when I was like 12. And as soon as she came on stage, I just started crying, and I didn't stop for like 10 minutes. But it was happy tears, so. And then I met her, oh yeah, I forgot about it. I met her, and yeah, I didn't know what to say. I was literally gonna like compliment her or say I really liked her, and I literally just said, you were good, and that was it. Um, traveling my friends to Korea. Probably when my mom came to visit me in Manchester because um, initially I came to Manchester alone. So she surprised me and I was so happy. Like I wasn't expecting it at all yet. Yeah. I was on an Amazon Prime show, it's called Steve, I was an extra and I met um, Michelle Fairley who played Caitlin Stark in Game of Thrones. And she just gives me love and she's really nice to be on set and meet her. It was just a cool experience. So as my really good friend uh, Sarah says, Happiness is very, very <laughs> difficult to pin down. They're giggling in the background. But anyway, yeah, me and my friends, Sarah, Kaylin, and Susanna, we all decided to watch the movie Truth or Dare with Lucy Hale. It wasn't a great movie, but it was really, really exciting or interesting to say the least. But we watched that movie and everyone came to my room. We brought all our mattresses, all our pillows, and fell asleep um, eating Crave cereal and watching Alice in Wonderland and it was really exciting. It's hard to pick, but probably my 18th birthday because it was just all my favorite people in one place. And yeah. It'd be the happiest day, can I just remember a happy day? Okay, so probably, is that loud enough? Right, so probably, um, the day I was having like a really bad day at uni, like I just came out of an exam, it was rubbish. Um, and then like my dad message, messages me and says, come outside. And I come outside and surprise, like they're there. And it just made me feel like, oh, like I just felt really loved. Like they came and surprised me. So yeah, probably the, the day my family came and surprised me at uni. Okay, so it was last summer and I went to Bali with my friends, so I was in Gilly Tea 
time it's like an island off it and um, I spent the day by myself but it was pretty amazing that I rode around the island in my bike I just had no worries I stopped for a few cocktails at a few places and then I met up with my friends in the evening had a really nice meal by the beach um, for me it was the day that I got my coffee um, she's one and a half now but we went she had to be flown to Sydney Airport we went to go pick her up and there were all these dogs who'd been like flown with the airline and they were all just sitting there quietly and there was this one dog just yapping like a crazy dog and of course that was my dog um, and we took her home and she was so small she was literally like the size of my brother's foot like we were so worried we were gonna squish her and she's just yeah she's the best so that was the best day <laughs> possibly my driving test because <clears throat> <laughs> Because <laughs> what's it called? I'm interested in cars. I want to go into designing cars, etc. There are many, but mostly they're just the time I spent with my family, like on holidays or just So it would probably be the last day of my show week in, I think it was either 2014 or 2015. Um, because the thing about shows is you spend like a solid week, day in, day out, with some of your closest friends, and then you put on a show. Um, and it's, you know, there's a real like sense of togetherness and um, at, on the last day everybody goes, they finish the show, they go straight from the show to a party and you just go from a party from like midnight until 7am with like some of your closest friends in the whole world. And I would probably say my 19th birthday, um, maybe not necessarily my actual birthday but the day of going out just because it's just, just nice, isn't it? Like, just, I just think for me, I like it when I get all dressed up and you feel good about yourself. And I like, had all my friends there, and then you know, it's just nice to go out, have a drink, let loose with all your pals. And it was just honestly such a good celebration. I realised when I got back into uni after I was convinced that I fucked out. Like, yeah, I opened up the letter and I was just ready to rip the master off because like, I'm sure I got kicked out and they're just telling me that now. And then top like word of the letter was just congratulations and I ended up dancing at the post office. <laughs> the happiest day of my life was when my brother graduated. It's not just a specific, a specific day, it's just that uh, these days when I'm in the scouts and we're in the nature and we just um, enjoy life. <laughs> um, the day I woke up and I had waves like because I worked so hard to get them and for me that was just a, such a special day. So, I remember when I started dance competitions when I was little and um, I got my very first duet. I've never done anything on stage other than be like in the background of a dance, like a dance routine. And so when it came to our first comps and my dance teacher was like, right, you're going to do the duet, I was absolutely buzzing. I've never, like, I've never been so happy about like, being dancing in my life. I just couldn't believe it. Joining Isaac! It's when I first learned my numbers. No, seriously, I was in a little village in India uh, where I grew up, and it was like a local school. Um, and I think I was about four years old, and I was actually the first person in my year group to learn my numbers. Um, so that's the happiest day of my life, and I still remember the person that taught me them. It was like another older student. When I was a little kid, I got a Make a Wish off Make a Wish Foundation and I wished for everyone in the hospital to get better like I did and they had like a little Santa and stuff in and every, all the kids and stuff in the children's hospital were so happy, it made me really happy. <laughs> um, the happiest day of my life was when I was like six or five, like five or six or whatever and um, I was with my whole family in Puerto Rico and we had like a huge Christmas party and everybody came over and it was up to like 10 a.m. I was like six, so you know, it's a big deal. So we were just all together, and it was so much fun, music, food, I loved it, it was such a great day. If you grew up in an African household or minority household, you know what it's like, and you know how much effort their children put into everything, but their parents don't seem to be happy with that. But um, last year, the happiest, one of the happiest points of my life was my mom said she's proud of me and how far I've come alive. And then, the second happiest moment is actually when I bought my car, my first car, because I set a target for myself and a goal, and the fact that I actually met that goal in a quicker time frame than I expected. Happiest day must have been when I met Izzy. <laughs> my 19th birthday, we all did so you are like £50 pounds worth, and we just ate it. It was beautiful. Like, I didn't do anything off of my birthday except that. So that was 
<laughs> I loved it, so that was good. I think the happiest day in my life has been when I was on a holiday, like a family holiday in Switzerland and Germany. So this was at a time when I was like almost about to enter university and I was a little thrown off by the idea that you know this is my first time living away from family. So we had like a nice moment to spend together. We were in Frankfurt and in Jamaican then. So yeah, it was, it was a nice break and it was a nice way to like cherish the last few family moments. There was a time, like a few years ago, I thought like this is like the happiest I've ever been. I had with my friends for life, for like, I was just new, I just like, felt enjoyed it every day of my life. Does, can I say day or period? Like a day. Just one day? Mm -hmm. uh, so I can't do that because... Um, I'm thinking. So the best day of my life, my 18th birthday, um, on that day I remember, I got at the time she surprised me in the morning and came to my house with all like bags full of presents, cards and everything. Her and a close friend of mine organised a surprise dinner with all of my other mates and I did not expect that at all. It just came, we were just going out one day and she was like, yeah, we'll go Blue Water, we'll have to eat something. Uh, we'll just go there to eat Pizza Express. But then it turned out to be all of my friends there and I was just happy. Simple things, but I was just happy. My happiest day uh, has been... Uh, it's, a, it's a tricky one. Probably the first day I went to university. Probably my 18th birthday. <laughs> all my friends were there. I was I there. Yeah, <laughs> he was there and I got a book from one of my really close friends and everyone wrote like messages in and it was really cute. <laughs> So the happiest day of my life so far is definitely when Google called me and told me that I have an internship or I was offered an internship with them this summer and I just remember being so overwhelmed and I didn't even believe it. I had to ask him like three times like are you sure that's what he said? I just need to check. Um, so definitely that's the best day of my life so far. You can have like bloopers or something. And that's the weather okay. with Gloria. The weather with Gloria. I can't, I'm not ready yet. What? Well, uh, uh, and then okay, I'm just gonna say here, so you're gonna go. What about you? And I'm gonna say basically, can we start again? <laughs> yes. Yeah, right. um, what do you think, Gloria? <laughs> <laughs> you I panicked. Say, oh. <laughs> I panicked. <laughs> Every day is the happiest day of my life. Yeah.